In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Excel and some of the general ways it can be used in statistical analysis. This will be a general overview, just talking about the outlay of Excel and, and just some of the basic functions and tools there. Uh, some of the other videos then get more specific with the specific statistical concepts. So first of all, I want to tell you that this is an older version of Excel, Microsoft Excel 2002. And the intent of that is that we can include as many people as possible that are watching this, uh, this video because not everyone has the latest version of Excel. So it's, it's good to make sure we have an older version so that all the features that I show here will, can be uh, found in everyone's version of Excel. Now the newer versions also have all of these features that I'm going to talk about. The buttons might look just a little bit different. They might be in a little bit different uh, location on the window, but all the features are there. So each of these rectangles is called a cell. So I'll type that in there, cell. And every cell is denoted by its what column it's in. So this cell is in column C, and what row it's in, the numerical rows. So we've got this cell in column C, row 1. So we see that up here, C1 is, is the, um, the cell, the cell location of this box. Next, I want to talk about functions. This insert function key is going to be very good. Now, Certainly, you can memorize how to type in functions, and that's great. There's, that's actually a very good because it, it saves you time. But if you ever forget how to, um, how to spell the way it's uh, abbreviated in, uh, in Excel, because it's not always the full word, or, or what the exact function is that you need, you can always hit this f of x function. So let's just type in some numbers. I'm just going to make these up. doesn't matter what numbers you put in there. 46, 56, 21, and 12. And let's say I want to find the average of those four numbers. I'll click on this f of x button, insert function, for this cell. So I want the average right here in this cell. So I, I put the cursor on that cell. I select that cell and then insert function. And then it lets you choose a, a category of functions. So Excel has really a ton of functions. So we're just going to narrow it down a little bit and choose the statistical functions. And then you've got all these, still have quite a bit just in statistical. And every time you click on a specific function, it tells you uh, what it does. Average. Average returns the average, the arithmetic mean of its arguments, or that is, of its uh, elements in the, in the cells. So we click OK. That's what we want. Now when you see a bold here, that means that Excel needs something here. It, it needs us to fill in. It's saying, well, what cells do you want me to look at? If it's not in bold, it's optional. So in, in this particular case, it just means that you can have your numbers. They don't have to be all close together. You could pick A3 through A6 here. Uh, I'm going to change this from A7. And you can also click some other numbers over here, and it'll return the average of all of those combined. Now, note this is Excel tries to guess at what you want, and it's guessing that we want A3 through A7, but we don't want 7. We don't, we're not looking in that cell. So while this is still highlighted, I'm going to click on A3, and then hold, and choose all four of those, and then let go. And now we see the new one. We're looking at the numbers in the cells A3 through A6. It tells you a formula result, and we'll see that 33.75 show up right here. There it is. Note up here that we could have gotten the same result by typing in, just physically typing in, equals, and then spell out average, and then parentheses, and then choose those cells the same way, and then close the parentheses. So, I'll do that right here. I'll type in equals. Why don't I do something else? Equals STDEV. That's the standard deviation. And that's another video we'll talk about that. There's another part of statistics. 
And then it says the standard deviation of what? Well, we're going to do the standard deviation of these four numbers. So I choose those, and then I close the parentheses, and there it is. That's standard deviation. It, it doesn't matter right now in this video what standard deviation means, but just so you know that that function is available for you. Lastly, I want to talk about uh, tools and adding uh, an add-in. So tools and then add-ins. You might have to hit this arrow down so that you see everything, but it's add-ins that you're looking for. Add-ins because you want to make sure that you have the analysis tool pack. And the analysis tool pack VBA certainly doesn't hurt to, to have that as well. Make sure both of those are checked. If you don't see that, you'll have to uh, insert your your um, Microsoft Office CD uh, and then and then go from there to to include these to put these into your program but there you go you check those you say okay sometimes with these later versions or earlier versions of Excel you have to close out Excel after you do that and then start it back up and then you'll have those analysis tool packs once you have that then you can click on tools and again if it doesn't show up right away this data analysis you can hit the arrow and then it will but I already had it but I just, I just want to show you that it's not lost if you don't see it so tools and then data analysis and now click on that and now you can do all kinds of stuff that it's a conglomeration you can think of it as a number of, of functions um, put into one area so all of these different things you, you won't use every single one of these and in one course probably in one statistics course but these are all available this is kind of the the meat and potatoes of statistics a t-test or hypothesis test is what these are for so you definitely will use those in pretty much any statistics course you take you'll use at least one of those okay so there are just some basics uh, of of excel and how you will use this in statistical analysis